What's up, guys? Rupert here. And as you know, in our Durial runs, we found this bad boy. And I had to make the upheaval build. But I did it a little bit differently. So I have three uniques. This one, uh, this one... And this one. This one randomly dropped in a in a dungeon, by the way. So, and I thought, you know what? I already made the Hellhammer build, and of course I have this too. Um, I already made a Hellhammer build that works with zero uniques, and I thought, why don't I make one with uniques? So, what really makes this build shine is this piece right here. Uh, without this piece. I would suggest you follow my other upheaval build and you could just add these two. And of course the, the actual mace. But if you have this piece here, you can play it differently and uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let's, um, let's show off a dungeon. Let's do the highest one I have and let's give it a try. Okay, so this dungeon, thorns is so zero, lightning storm, fine, bleed damage, fine, burn damage, that doesn't really matter, and potion breakers. Alright, so, how you play with this is you actually use, um, you use unstoppable to gain fury. So as you use unstoppable to gain fury, yeah, you can just spam upheaval and hopefully get a uh, some overpowered shots here, which I'm not getting right now. There we go. There we go. So this build is pretty actually fun to play like this. Uh, we gotta get in here. It's a different way to play upheaval. But yeah. So what we do here, if we already have enough fury, just hit upheaval. If you don't, just hit either Rallying Cry, Wrath of the Berserker, or I did put on Metamorphosis for that reason as well. So you can and yeah, it's it's pretty fun actually. Okay, and so we like our my next shot is gonna be a critical. That was huge, 18. That was a low hit. This build does stupid amounts of damage, like just stupid. That was that was a low hit. That was, that was a trash hit. Alright, so let's... While berserking... That was what? That, I think that person was 9. There we go. And it's, um... It's, it's a pretty tanky build if you watch what you're doing. Unlike me. Kind of talking to you at the same time. So right now when I don't have Fury, I can just... I can hit my, um my actual generator and do it that way. But it's 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 pretty good. It's not really the way that I usually like to play, but it is still fun. So for some reason, yeah, Donut Fury, just hit him with that. Hit him with, with Bash a couple times and your Fury will go up like crazy. So it, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. This is a little annoying, but... Just 
literally gain unstoppable. Your fury goes up. And then they go down. So I say there's those are the two ways that you can do upheaval. If you have all these uniques, well, it's really just the one. But it's pretty fast too. Like it's a it's a fast build. I thought that would have been a an overpowered hit for sure there. And again, you can use any generator. I use bash so that if you do a couple more bashes, you will get eventually an overpower hit out of it. But if if you want to use lunging strike for the mobility, go for it. Definitely, definitely powerful. And even when you hit bash, like you gain a lot of fury. Like one bash, no, no, look at that. Two bashes, I think it's like three or four. Two, full, one, two, three, yeah, it's only three. But yeah, this destroys pretty much every nightmare dungeon. So you want to have as many ways to become unstoppable. You could put Iron Skin in this instead of um, Challenging Shout, or maybe even no. I, I'd say I'd say War Cry actually. Sorry, I'm actually just looking at the screen. While I play, thinking about what I would take out. But now this is this is a, an interesting way to play. It's a little annoying when it doesn't overpower, but hey, where's the last guy that we got to slay here? There he is. There you go. Still, still the three show build. Nothing really changes there. I'll grow over the build at, at the end of this. All right. Give me one sec. All right, so now we're going to go fight the boss, and we should actually have two overpowered shots for him. So l let's just see how this works here. That was very weak. And there you have it. That is the crazy overpowered upheaval. Easily cleared Nightmare Dungeon 96. Um, so yeah, the big change is this right here. You need to have this. If you don't have this, the unstoppable that gives you your, your primary resource, it does not work. These two things are still great. You could put them into the other upheaval build and you play it the exact same way. But if you get this, try this build out. It's, it's pretty cool. 
And the change we made here, again, is metamorphosis. And I put on undying. And over here, I think everything is pretty much the same from the other video, except for the bottom. Uh, this is being buffed by our Hellhammer, our Amulet, and our Gloves. It's crazy. Uh, take that. Okay, also with this build, um, if you notice, we're only usually hitting Upheaval. So you could swap this out for this one. Do whichever one you want. I would say if you use your generator, then use this. But if not, I should probably be switching over to this for more berserking. Because I'm not usual I'm not hitting bash enough. Let's see. Also Um These three points here, because I'm not doing a lot of berserking, you could put them up here as well. And so down here, I don't have a way to stun them or make them vulnerable. So I put the three points here right into this because we're always guaranteed criticals with, with our new ring. And I also take this to heal us. And this is how we also get crazy damage. So there's not too many changes. The Paragon board, it still has Ire. Crusher, Dominate, don't know why that one's white and highlighted. Wrath, so we did, we did use Wrath because we have now a way to have guaranteed crits with the ring. Uh, we use Might, and I did path up here to get Blood Rage. So on your weapons, like right now with my weapons, with these two I, I have all stats, strength, overpower. I, I want that to be core, but it's close. Um, you could also replace core with damage with berserking. But core, damage with berserking, they're both really great. Damage with berserking is better because it gives you more times damage. But other than that, like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of fine with these the way it is right now. But yeah, that's, that's like a wicked roll. But yeah, give this build a try. Oh, and and we changed the ring here. So the Unrelenting Fury. When I was playing Ren Rupture, I realized that when I was bossing, I never had to hit Flay. And I was like, what is doing that? And it's the Unrelenting Fury ring. This ring is ridiculous. Um, I think this is going to be my new favorite aspect on rings. Because it's just, it's just too amazing. Definitely use it. Try, try this ring out with all your builds. It's awesome. And this is a no-brainer. This is how we get our, our criticals. And with this, you don't even need critical strike chance. Because it's always guaranteed. So it, it, that's amazing. That's why we also use Wrath. And of course, this... Oh, just keep hitting upheaval. And then your next upheaval... Is guaranteed to overpower. Amazing. Give the build a try, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.